Now, whether you are going to start potty training your little one soon, or you have already started and it just seems harder than it should be, then welcome to today's video, which I will share with you two things you must have for potty training to be successful, as well as items that can actually make potty training more complicated for you and your little one. With that being said, let's get started. First off, I want to start off by sharing with you two things you must do to make sure potty training goes smoothly. Yes, two things. These two things, you can avoid the mistakes that parents make all the time when it comes to potty training. These two things will help avoid your child being fearful of the toilet and to avoid any risk of your child developing chronic constipation, which no parent wants for their child. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to download my free potty training essentials PDF in the description section below. It can be an exciting time when your little one is ready to start potty training. Often, parents want to keep their little ones excited, so they go out and purchase a small plastic potty or a seat reducer ring to put on top of their regular potty that has bright colors or their favorite characters on them, thinking this will motivate their child to use the potty. As a parent, you get all excited and pick a day to start potty training, only to find out that your child is terrified of the potty and they won't go in the potty at all and actually prefer their diapers again. The first thing you must do for potty training to be successful is you need to make sure your little one feels safe and comfortable. Their diapers up to this point has provided that comfort and safety for them. So in order for your child to start using the toilet, they need the same comfort and safety they have felt with their diaper, but now with a toilet. For your little one to feel safe and comfortable, you first need to reduce the size of the toilet seat. A regular sized toilet seat is just too big and can create some anxious feelings in your child. When your child is sitting on a smaller toilet seat that is comfortable for them, it will help them be able to relax the muscles, including those around the urination and defecation area so that they can go pee and poop. When your child goes to the toilet on a regular sized seat, it can be difficult for them and your child will place their hands at their sides to hold themselves up and to prevent them from falling in. However, with both hands on either sides close together, actually tightens up all sorts of muscles between the legs called the pelvic floor or bowel area which makes pushing hard and painful to pee or poo since there's no give and naturally leads kids towards trying harder than necessary while straining themselves. This can cause your child to fear the toilet since they start to associate pain with the toilet and they may worry that the toilet will swallow them up so they avoid it at all costs. Then you have a child who goes pee and poo everywhere other than the toilet. The best way to reduce the overall size of a toilet seat is with a built-in child potty seat. The great thing about these is that it's so easy to switch between adult and child seat since it's all connected. When the child seat is not in use, it's an adult seat. And when your child needs to go potty, you can easily flip down the child seat and now your child has a seat that is a perfect size for them so they can feel safe and comfortable without having to put their hands to the sides to prop them up. These built-in child seats work so much better than the portable seats or even the small plastic toilet seats that so many parents get when they start potty training and here is why. The built-in child toilet seats don't pinch your child's bottom. Portable seats such as these tend to pinch your child's bottom when they sit on the seat. They also may slide and move around more which can make your child feel unstable on the toilet and increase their fear of falling in. With that being said, this is the second reason why getting a built-in child toilet seat is that they don't move or wiggle when your child is sitting on them. They are very sturdy. Oftentimes, with my own children, when they would get off the portable seat, it would flip off as they would slide off the toilet, stick to their bum, and fall off as they would sit up, which would make them get wobbly, and it would even tilt to one side as they went to sit on it, which to a child makes them feel like the seat is not safe for them to sit on. But with your built-in seats, your child doesn't have to worry about that at all. The child toilet seat is a great idea because it looks nice and you can use the built-in seats instead of having plastic ones that take up space until they are needed again. 
Plus, with this kind, there's no need for extra steps like putting on an old-fashioned toilet seat or taking off anything when your child is done using it. It makes life easier both in terms of cleaning as well as going about your newsroom business, making sure everything gets done quickly without any frustration and your child will feel safe and comfortable when using it, making potty training so much easier. If you are leaving your house and need a good portable toilet seat, you're going to want one that has a good rubber grip on the bottom and that fits inside the toilet ring to help provide security and safety for your child. The one that I like the most will be linked in the description box as well as the other two must-have items I share in this video. It is important that you try your best to stay home with your child while they are potty training so that they can establish good potty habits and really solidify safety with the toilet before going to a potty in a more public and unfamiliar setting. That is the first thing you must do in order for potty training to go smoothly. The second thing you have to do is to make sure you have a step stool for your child. This is important because it will help your child get on and off the toilet independently, but also it will help them be able to poo much easier. When you are trying to find a good step stool, make sure you get one that will put your child's knees slightly higher than their hips. This is because when a child is sitting upright and their knees are lower than their hips, a muscle around their rectum gets kinked, making it harder for a little one to poo. In order for your child to poo much easier, they need to have their knees slightly higher than their hips and they need to lean forward and place their elbows on their legs. This will help the kinked muscle to relax so they can go poo with ease. The step stools that you want to avoid are any plastic step stools or the ladder kind of step stools. This is because they are really lightweight which can make them slide or move. They are also really small which can cause your child to feel unstable when using them. So instead, find a wooden step stool that has two steps. These will be much more sturdy and won't move around as easily. They will not wobble or move when your child is turning around to sit on the toilet. As well, they will raise your child's knees higher than their hips, making it easier for them to poo. Plus, they will give your child the support they need to feel comfortable and safe while potty training. The other great thing about wooden step stools is that many of them have handles on them, so your child can grab onto the handles for extra support when climbing onto the toilet. Also, while sitting on the toilet, they have something stable for them to grab onto. Before you start potty training, or even if you have already started, go and get these must-have potty training items right now because they will make all the difference in how potty training goes for you and your child. Also, don't forget to check out my other potty training video where I share more tips when it comes to successfully potty training your child. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.